Dear student, today we are going to learn about RC phase shift oscillator. In case of RC phase shift oscillator, that is suitable for audio frequency applications. So uh, these are also called audio frequency oscillator and uh, these are basically used to generate the sinusoidal audio frequency signals. Now the uh, ranges are from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. It is consists of an op amp as the amplifying stage and the three RC cascaded network as the feedback circuit. The feedback circuit provides the feedback voltage form from the output back to the input of an amplifier. So here this is the uh, diagram of RC phase shift oscillator and uh, this is the operational amplifier this is uh, you can choose any uh, general purpose op amp ic uh, the 741 ic is the general purpose op amp ic and uh, the other one uh, high speed ic also you can choose in the circuitry so here uh, like ad double four ic is the high speed ic you can choose uh, that ic uh, in the circuitry and uh, you can design the rc phase uh, oscillator using the high speed ic's so here uh, this is the open circuit and uh, these are the resistor r1 and rf so in case of inverting amplifier uh, the resist uh, these resistances are connected at inverting mode and that are also connected to the feedback circuitry so this is the feedback circuit uh, with the combination of three RC uh, circuitry uh, circuit network so here this RC is provide 60 degree phase shift this RC is also provide 60 degree phase shift and this RC combination is also provide 60 degree phase shift so the total phase shift in the circuitry uh, in this feedback stage is 180 degree similarly in case of amplifier stage so uh, this uh, stage is also provide the 180 degree phase shift so the total phase shift around the loop will be 360 degree so this uh, fulfill the criteria of barcosan according to barcosan criteria the total phase shift required will be 360 degree or 0 degree so this condition is fulfilled here so in case of RC phase shift oscillator, the op amp is used in the inverting mode and means it gives a phase shift of 180 degree at the output and additional 180 degree phase shift is also provided by the cascaded RC network thus the total phase shift around the loop is 360 degree therefore it fulfills the Barbusian criteria in which the total phase shift required around the loop must be 360 degree for sustained oscillation condition so you can uh, design any of the circuitry Here the sustained oscillation condition, sustained oscillation means R uh, uh, oscillation which oscillate with constant amplitude and frequency. According to Barkhusen criteria, sustained oscillations are produced when the magnitude of the loop gain A beta must be equal to 1 and the total phase shift around the loop must be 360 degree or 0 degree ensuring positive feedback. So, here this is the sustained oscillation condition this is the diagram we had already explained this diagram and uh, now calculate the oscillation frequency so here we are considering the uh, this three combination of RC so uh, uh, this, this is the feedback uh, circuitry also so here this is the feedback circuit feedback stage so here we are considering this uh, feedback stage only to calculate the oscillation frequency so how to calculate the oscillation frequency so here uh, these are the nodes v0 v1 v2 and vf so these are the v1 v2 and vf are the nodes and uh, these are the current direction so here in this direction uh, the current is 
i1 and uh, here the current divides into two part so this is i2 and i3 now the current again divided into two parts so this is i4 and i5 now the current again divided into two parts so here this is i6 and i7 so here uh, now consider the node v1 so at node v1 apply the kcl so after applying the kcl the equation will become i1 equal to i2 plus i3 and here uh, this i1 is equal to v not minus v1 upon xc so here this is the i1 and this is equal to v not minus v1 upon xc so here this is i1 similarly i2 is equal to v1 upon r so here this is the i2 and here this uh, uh, terminal is grounded so here the i2 is equal to v1 upon r similarly i3 is equal to v1 minus v2 upon xc so here this is i3 is equal to v1 minus v2 upon xc now uh, uh, solve this equation and uh, this v1 is into 1 upon r plus 1 upon xc plus 1 upon xc so common this v1 here and uh, then this is equal to v0 plus v2 upon xc so here uh, solve this equation again and then we will calculate the v1 finally that is equal to uh, v0 plus v2 upon xc plus 2r into r so this is the equation uh, after applying the kcl at node v1 now apply the kcl at node v2 so the equation will become i3 is equal to i4 plus i5 so here the i3 is equal to in the circuitry this i3 is equal to v1 minus v2 upon xc so here at node v2 the i3 will be equal to v1 minus v2 upon xc and uh, similarly uh, the i4 is also equal to v2 upon vr in the circuitry this is i4 and uh, because this terminal is grounded so here this i4 is equal to v2 upon R. similarly calculate the i5 uh, so here the i5 is equal to v2 minus vf upon xc so we can consider this at node v2 this i5 is equal to v2 minus vf upon xc so now solve this equation and then finally the v1 is equal to xc plus 2r upon r into v2 minus vf so this is your equation too now applying the kcl at node v3 in this circuitry this is node uh, v3 or we can say this is node vf so here this node uh, at uh, node vf after applying the kcl the equation is equal to i5 is equal to i6 plus i7 so here this is the i5 and this is equal to i6 plus i7 so here the r1 is more greater than r in case of rc phase shift oscillator then the i7 cur uh, is equal to 0 here therefore the i5 is equal to i6 so here the if is equal to in this circuitry this if current is uh, i5 is equal to i6 so this i5 is equal to v2 minus vf upon xc and this i6 is also equal to vf upon r so at node uh, v th uh, vf the uh, final equation is v2 is equal to xc plus r upon r into vf so this is your equation 3 now substitute the value of v1 and v2 from equation 1 and equation 3 in equation 2 so this is your equation 3 
and this is equation 1 so substitute these uh, values in equation 2 so this is your equation 2 so finally after solving this equation uh, the equation will become v naught plus v2 upon xc plus 2r into r equal to xc because in case of uh, equation 2 here v1 is equal to xc plus 2r upon r into v2 minus vf so here this is equal to so this is your equation 4 now after solving the equation 4 we will get the feedback gain that is beta is equal to vf upon v naught and that is equal to r cube upon xc cube plus 5xc square plus 6xc r square plus r cube so here now substitute xc is equal to 1 upon j omega c in equation 5 where xc is the impedance of capacitor or capacitive reactance also uh, so here the beta is equal to beta is the feedback gain so here beta is equal to r cube upon xc is equal to 1 upon j omega c so it will become 1 upon j omega c cube plus similarly like this so the beta will equal to like this and then now the feedback gain that is equal to beta beta is equal to minus j omega cube c cube r cube upon 1 plus 5 j omega r c minus 6 omega square c square x square minus j omega cube r cube c cube so this is the feedback gain now consider the amplifying stage of the op amp then the voltage gain of the op amp is a is equal to v naught upon v in and that is equal to minus rf upon r1 so now in case of oscillator the necessary condition for sustained oscillation is a beta is equal to 1 therefore using equation 6 and 7 we will obtain this uh, this is equal to minus rf upon r1 is equal to minus j omega cube so here uh, this minus rf upon r1 is the voltage gain and uh, this is equal to this is a so here a is equal to minus rf upon r1 so now, now apply this uh, equation uh, sustained oscillation condition so here a will become minus rf upon r1 and beta is equal to minus j omega cube c cube r cube upon 1 plus 5 j omega rc minus j omega square c square r square minus j omega cube c cube r cube and that is equal to 1 because a beta is equal to 1 so here and now solving this equation so now equating the real part from equation this then we will get the uh, this this is zero because uh, there is no real part so it will become zero and this is equal to one plus one minus j omega square c square r square so here this is uh, zero because this is the imaginary part this will become zero because this is also imaginary part so here we are considering one minus six omega square c square r square now uh, solve this uh, finally find out the oscillation frequency there is, uh, that is one upon two pi r c root under six because here omega is equal to uh, 2 pi f naught so uh, apply this uh, in this equation and then now calculate the oscillation frequency f naught and that is equal to 1 upon 2 pi rc root under 6 now uh, equating the imaginary part from equation 8 and we will get a rf upon r1 into j omega cube c cube r cube equal to 5 j omega r c minus j omega cube c cube r cube so here rf upon r1 is equal to 29 after solving this equation so here the rf 
uh, is also equal to 29 R1. Therefore, the circuit will produce a sine wave output if the gain of the amplifier must be at least 29. And the total phase shift around the loop is exactly 360 degree. So, uh, the desired amplitude can be obtained by connecting back to back channel diode in the circuitry. So, uh, this is the condition uh, in case of RC phase shift oscillator, the total phase shift uh, required around the loop is 360 degree. Uh, here, these are the advantages of the RC phase shift oscillator. Uh, the circuit design is uh, very simple. Uh, it produces the uh, output over the audio frequency range. Uh, produces sinusoidal output waveform without distortion. It is a fixed frequency oscillator or uh, we can say it is audio frequency oscillator. It provides good frequency stability. It is not bulky and expensive. So, These are the advantages of the disadvantages of the RC phase shift oscillator. By changing the values of uh, resistor and capacitor, the frequency of the oscillator can be changed. But the values of uh, resistor and capacitor of all three sections must be changed simultaneously to satisfy the oscillation conditions. But this is practically impossible, hence the RC phase shift oscillator is considered as a fixed frequency oscillator for all practical purposes. These uh, oscillators produce 5% of distortion level in the output. This oscillator gives only a small output due to smaller feedback. The other disadvantage is these oscillators uh, circuits require a high gain which is practically impossible. The frequency stability is poor due to the effect of the temperature aging etc of various circuit components. So these are the disadvantages of the RC phase shift oscillator. Thank you for watching.